Good morning and a very warm welcome indeed. We are on Wednesday, it's June the 19th, and this is Peter with you on the morning video blog. Many thanks indeed for calling through to the Peter Private 99 video channel. Well, it's great to have you with me this morning. I've got a free bet for you running this afternoon at Utoxeter. That one will come up in just one moment. And just to reiterate the two bets today from, of course, the Focus service, which is going so well. Another payday yesterday on the main line, of course, was a nice big juicy 12 to 1 each way in the shape of B52, who ran really well. Just got touched off by a nose, just a nose, but was a winning bet overall at quarter odds, 1, 2, 3. Around about 3 to 1 profit there. And of course, on the late shift, if you join the late service, there was a nice big 12 to 1 to 8 to 1 each way payout as well. So, onward and upward as we go into today's Action Wednesday. And of course, the Royal Ascot Marky Card line. Well, I hope you had a good touch on that yesterday and enjoyed the first day of the festival there. With four winners overall, including the final two on the card. One of them backed from 25 to 1 to 12 to 1. And the last one from 8 to 1 to 5 to 1. Onward and upward again there. Great day for Royal Ascot. And a lot of people were very happy with that, and rightly so. Enjoying it and winning it, and that's what it's all about. Okay, so let's give you the free bet first today, and then I'll repeat the other two bets and just a little bit of background about what's happening. I'll just have a quick look to make sure everything's running. And yeah, and I'm looking right now on the exchanges, and this horse I've got for you today is around about 11 to 4. A couple of days ago, I gave you a winner which was backed in from 8 to 1 into uh, 100 to 30 that was cliff bay and uh, this one's come from the same source to me and expected to take a lot of beating i'm assured it's come from someone who works very closely with the utoxia to race course there and uh, very much uh, a student of form in the midland area of course where i was born and bred and the one to be honest is in the 355 at utoxia it's number two it's called Corey Lindo. Corey Lindo. It's written by Liam Hurd today. I'm just checking. It does all go in. There's just five go to post. It's trained by Henry Oliver. And I'm um, reported to, to me that the horse is ready to win this afternoon. It's a very weak event. It's a two and a half mile novice handicap chase. But number two, Corey Lindo is my free bet of the day. Free pick of the day. And warrants very, very strong. Certainly respect in this very, very ordinary affair. So it's number two. Corrie Lindo is the one to be on there. A winner waiting to happen is the message I'm receiving. Well, the two other bets today, of course, are from the Focus Group. And the first one is in the 7, 740 at Chelmsford. You should have already had these by way, of course, of text message. But I'll just repeat them to you. Uh, each way, number seven, it's called You Don't Do Do. You Don't Do Do. Trained by Richard Guest, who's not having a brilliant season. I think he's only had three winners from 75 runners. But every dog has its day. And this one, apparently, is ready to strike today. Big price. I think it's around about 13 to 2. It said on the text message what price it was at the time of broadcasting. And uh, certainly, if you can take early prices, you're probably better off. And, uh, well, certainly have an each-way bet on that one. That's the recommended bet there. Number seven, you don't do you. Don't do do, I beg your pardon. Trained by Richard Guest, uh, fourth last time out at Chelmsford, uh, can win tonight. The other bet, just looking at my card, is in the 850. The 850, and that's over at Ripon. 850 at Ripon. Again, everything's according to plan. It's still running. Everything's still going. No non-runners there. And that's number three. It's called Mapped. And that one's written by a very good friend of mine today, Paul Hannigan, who I knew before he was actually rode a winner when he was attached to Malcolm Jefferson's yard and then on to Richard Fahey. A long time ago now, seems, the trauma champion jockey. Paul Hannigan rides for Ian Jardine. Um, the report is coming through from the focus that this horse has been set up sooner or later to pull a bit of a stunt. They have been getting this one ready. It's been dropping down the handicap. And, uh, well, today could be the day. That's what the word is. And that's what's going to be happening. I think it's around about 6 to 1, 13 to 2. That's number 3, mapped. And that one goes in the 850 at Ripon. So just to reiterate, the free bet is number 2, Cory Lindo. Cory Lindo, that's from myself. And that's in the 355 at Utoxeter. Very strongly fancied by the Midland correspondent. And very strongly, strongly fancied by myself. The other two bets, as I say, you've already had them. But I'll give them you again. It's number 7, you don't do do in the 740 at Chelmsford, and number three, mapped in the 850 at Ripon. Could be a late bet tonight. We'll have to see what happens with the, the boys in blue, as they say, at the old uh, Focus. And, uh, well, whatever happens today, make sure you have a good time and enjoy it. 
and enjoy Royal Ascot Day too. The market card service for that has already gone out nice and early today. So uh, onward and upward again. Let's have some more winners there to add to the four winners from the six events yesterday, including some really big prices indeed. I'm flying back to Guernsey today after a very important meeting down in Chepstow. Look forward to telling you more about that in due course. But for the meantime, I'll say good luck, God bless. And thanks so much for tuning in. Bye for now.